Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and I recently bought this Master Lock commercial padlock after seeing it, well, actually on a commercial property, and you know what it's like, you start seeing one lock and then you start seeing it every time you go out, and then you think to yourself, I just want to buy it, and then you buy it. Um, but the, one of the reasons I bought it was, I just was curious as to what makes it a commercial lock. I own a lot of Master Locks, and... Um, I hadn't had one of these, and to be honest with you, I didn't know it really existed until quite recently, much to my shame. So when I got it, I grabbed my Master Lock number one, which was actually the closest match I could find, and I was just curious as to what are the actual differences. So the overall footprint of the locks seem to be the same, although the rivers seem, uh, seem to be a little bit bigger on the Master Lock number one. It does have two bumpers, uh, don't know what really that adds apart from it looks a bit cooler and it is a little bit taller the commercial is a little bit taller by about a quarter of an inch again I, I don't know uh, the reasons why exactly but I have a theory which I will come on to a bit later but other than that very similar it's possible again that the shackle is a tiny bit taller on the master lock commercial but that could just be manufacturing tolerances both are hardened of course so the differences actually lie more internally and on the underside. So have a look at this. The mass lock number one, with its slightly bigger rivets, is here, and the mass lock 21 is here. Is that a coincidence? Is that a one and 21 to signify that this is a commercial version? I don't know. But if I turn it upside down, let's have a look at those keyways. Two things about the keyways. One, seem similar, but actually they are mirrored keyways. Why? Not so sure. But they are. The other thing about this is that you'll see that the commercial is re-keyable. This mechanism here will drop out the core when you undo a small grub screw on the inside and that will allow you to re-pin the locks. Why does that make much of a difference for a commercial lock? Well, a few things I guess. You may want to have a lot of locks which are keyed alike so the have multiple locks that use the same key, quite useful for a commercial setting, and having a removable core will make that a whole lot easier. It could be that you hand out your keys to lots of employees. If a few of them lose their keys, you might want to uh, go back and repin all your locks and get new keys cut, which is a lot cheaper than replacing all of the locks naturally. It could even be that these could be pinned to a master suite, so you have um, lots of master keying going on. I don't know if that's something which people have done with master locks, but it's certainly feasible that you could. Another thing is that you'll see that these two cores are different in terms of the way that they operate. So here is the key for the number one rotated clockwise, but you can also open it anti-clockwise. You cannot do the same with the master lock commercial. As you can see, it has these little flanges in the keyway which block the core from turning anti-clockwise. You can only open it clockwise. Why? Actually, in that regard, I've got no idea whatsoever. But it is worth actually just having a little look at the keys. So two things with the keys. One, the bitting is wildly different. Is that the difference between the commercial and the standard mass lock? Well, it could just be a coincidence. I don't have a big enough sample, but it's certainly a much, much better bitting on the commercial. You'll also see that the commercial key is longer. That's because it has actually in it five pins, not the standard four for the non-commercial versions. That might also explain why the lock is taller from base to shackle because it might have to accommodate a slightly longer core. So let's have a go at picking these locks and seeing what they're all about on the inside. So this is a standard master lock number one. It hasn't been oiled, so it's a little bit graunchy, but we'll have a bit of a go anyway, why not? Pin two, pin three, Pin four. 
Didn't go on pin one now. If I can get it, there we go, and we're open. Very rudimentary pick, all standards, made only a bit hard by the fact it doesn't have any grease inside. I really need to oil this one. Okay, now the Masterlock commercial. I can only tension this clockwise, but that's okay. It's the way I prefer anyway. Let's go in and have a play around to see what we can pick. Two. One. Four. Seems we're on pin five now, and we're open. There we go. Uh, more difficult, possibly, but definitely all standard pins inside, so we're not talking about a lock here, which is a challenge. Uh, one thing that we can say about these two locks is they are different in terms of how the shackles are locked down. So this one clearly has sprung locking poles on the inside. It is double locking. But the commercial has a double ball bearing mechanism. Now, I'm led to believe, and I don't know for sure, because I've not experienced it, but the new standard mass locks actually moved over to a ball bearing locking mechanism. I think it's a really good move from uh, master lock, albeit that their cores are just so easy to pick with their standard pins. Um, I might gut this in a minute for those of you who are interested to know what's inside, but just to wrap up a summary of the two locks for those of you who aren't so interested in what's inside i would say well this is definitely a better lock i love the fact it's rekeyable it's got an extra uh it's extra pin it's got ball bearing mechanism it's a slightly uh, bigger lock my only question is is that why would you want this lock over this lock it just seems like um a shame that you know the master lock aren't upping their game to move more over to to this type of lock as opposed to sticking with uh, their standard lock full stop. I guess it's all to do with uh, uh, cost and the fact that people buy this type of lock as opposed to this type of lock, but this is clearly a much better lock. Anyway, uh, let's have a go at gutting this one now. It's open and let's at least have a look on the inside. Okay, so there we are. Um, it's a bit like what you'd expect, really. Nothing too special. All brass, all standard pins. The only good thing, of course, being that they have five instead of four. Um, so there you go. That's the master lock commercial. Probably not the best lock in the entire world, but certainly an improvement on a standard master lock number one. Uh, I like having it in the collection. It's a fun little thing, and I would recommend you going out and exploring them yourselves. They probably make pretty good challenge locks, actually. All right, I'll see you all next time.